Hello, my name is uh, Joshua Chen. I'm an NCE graduate student. I work at uh, Berkeley Wireless Research Center. We design uh, integrated circuits for next generation uh, wireless communications. Now, the past decade has seen a tremendous growth in the development of millimeter wave technologies in order to utilize wider but less occupied spectrum at higher frequencies. So in the near future, we'll have a ubiquitous ultra high speed wireless connections around us from outdoor uh, cellular backhauls between towers to indoor personal area networks connecting portable devices. And thanks to CMOS technology scaling, we are now able to design an entire millimeter wave radio in a single CMOS chip. However, despite the worldwide R&D effort, the energy efficiency of those millimeter radio still remains very low, especially on the transmitter side. And this is largely due to the use of uh, class A traditional power amplifiers, which suffer from low average efficiency when transmitting non-constant envelope signals. So the goal of our research here is really to improve the average efficiency of the transmitter uh, by dynamically scaling the DC power consumption. And this can be effectively achieved by using a digital transmitter. So the idea here is instead of having a big traditional analog power amplifier, we have an array of a small power amplifiers. And then the envelope information can be created by digitally switching on and off certain number of these uh, amplifier units. So basically, the more amplifier units you turn on, the lar larger amplitude you get at the output. Now, since each amplifier here doesn't have to convey envelope information, it can be designed as a switching amplifier to maximize efficiency. And also because we're dynamically tracking the signal envelope, we can save the DC power consumption. So in order to use this architecture for transmitting any type of uh, quantum signal, we have to actually use two such arrays, one for transmitting in-phase signal, the other for transmitting uh, quadrature phase signal. Of course, here the biggest challenge is how to uh, design this final stage signal combiner that combine I and Q signals. Uh, in general, there are two types of uh, on-chip signal combiners, non-isolating combiners or isolating combiners. Non-isolating combiners have very low insertion loss, which will not degrade the uh, entire transmitter efficiency, but it creates a significant uh, IQ crosstalk and therefore degrades uh, the signal constellation. On the other hand, isolating combiners prevent IQ crosstalk and therefore preserve the constellation map, but the problem is they are very lossy. Usually you get 3 dB insertion loss and you get 50% hit on the overall efficiency. So to solve this dilemma, we propose to combine a signal in space, a concept we call quadrature spatial combining. So here the idea is we have two individual antennas, one for transmitting I signal and the other for transmitting Q signal. Now because the E field vectors can be losslessly summed in the far field, we avoid insertion loss. And also because now there's no direct signal connections between I and Q PA arrays on the chip, we can avoid the uh, IQ crosstalk. And then we can further extend this concept to a beamforming array where each I and Q transmitter have multiple amplifier and uh, antenna elements. So now not only we can dynamically steer the beam to point to different receivers, but we can also turn on and off individual antennas to create additional amplitude resolution. So to demonstrate this concept, we designed a 60 gigahertz prototype targeting for Y gig applications. And we fabricate a chip in a standard 65 nanometer technology. And then we also design a complete module. We flip the chip onto this uh, three layer Rogers board, which also houses the antenna. And these little squares you see are the antenna elements. So signals are generated on the chip and radiated by the uh, antenna arrays. Then we use the external horn antenna to pick up the energy, and we're able to transmit and decode both BPSK and 16 quantum signal up to six gigabit per second data rate. So of course, the most remarkable result here is the uh, efficiency. When transmitting uh, QPSK and 16 quantum data at 60D backoff, we get almost 16.5% average efficiency. If you compare this number to a Class A amplifier based the transmitter, this is almost four times better. So that means with this architecture, you can effectively cut down the DC power consumption in a millimeter radio. 
So if you're interested in this work or other energy efficient integrated circuit design and innovations, welcome to the um, BWRC open house at the second floor of uh, Sutaja Dai Hall. Thank you.